upward spirit and i really hope that they can keep this up you can see the betway odds putting this one in favor of phase i think for a lot of people that's just going to come on the back of the the names in the server right and the tenure of this phase squad and i think a lot of people as well they want to believe in the new addition of bmas into yeah. this crew as well and yeah no no doubt like definitely talented players on phase but that team play for spirit it is very very good on this key side we'll get to more of that later as we're into the action we're into the pistol it's the first map of the series and spirits pick they start on t side and mir finds a pick out into the pop dog phase with three outer and the bomb going inner so spirit avoiding the stack and the setup here for the phase clan that smoke will land deep in the connector for chopper and that's actually going to cut off Bmas here, who's in con. He's actually just decided to rotate out of B. He's going to come to regret that one as the flashes fly on in. He hears everything, but he can't put a stop to it. Plant can be allowed here by Spirit. That bomb's still stuck behind the Great Train, so Chopper needs to get it across, and he will do so. Phase a man down, two men down, rather, with a retake. They do have a kit, but the odds are stuck against them. Yeah, it's not looking great. Chopper's kept this one in the advantage, getting that immediate trade after his teammate I disbalance was taken care of. Nico and Cold Zera. Nope, now just Cold Zera. It does have a kit at least and a smoke as well, but the, uh, the trade kills are good from Team Spirit. And the players going aggressive are able to cut down phase the moment they rotate into this site. I think a good sign as well is that you've got like uh, Mir finding that little opener, right? For me, he's been a real key player in this Team Spirit squad. I think him and Chopper, the consistency that these two have found as of late is stellar. And I think one of the reasons that we're seeing this Team Spirit crew look so deadly is on the back of the performances that these guys deliver in the server. Force by for phase, though. They're not waiting around to get those investments in. I think, you know, one thing that Spirit have looked really, really good, really, really good on is those T sides. And while starting on the T side of a map by like train may feel like a handicap, I think for Spirit, this is only going to benefit them. We see them on maps like Nuke, Train, Inferno, Mirage, all with better T sides and simple sides, which, yeah, okay, the game is certainly leaning T sided uh, more so now than ever. But, you know, that's still pretty impressive for Spirit. And, uh, and, and yeah, worth keeping in mind for FaZe Clan here in this series. And especially in a map that, you know, they, they haven't played frequently. This is their least played map except for Vertigo, which is their insta ban. So, yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely gaps. There's definitely uh, holes that Spirit can exploit here. And well, they're looking for more in this second round. FaZe rotating Brokey to B to join, uh, join B mass. It's actually a bit of a stack rotation for FaZe moving into the connector, but Spirit throwing out a nade and will commit with it. That's going to draw these deagles back. Rain looking for something, but the smokes just cover every player from Spirit. It almost looks like there's no one in the yard, but little DeFaze, no, five Ts are hanging about in the Olaf position. Spam tagging coming on. Nico getting low, dangerously low, finished off by Mir, and now Spirit are going to start to flood the site, even though those rotations are back for FaZe. It's just so many T's here on A. And this force buy becomes really tricky to get anything done with now if you're phased one by one. They are just getting mopped up. Dimas maybe looking to try and save. It's him and Brokey left in the server. And they will just group on up over here towards this B site. Try and hold on to the scout and D combination. Brokey's fit very well in, the, in this team, and he's certainly improved, you know, a huge amount since joining FaZe, which is awesome, and, and many FaZe members have talked about that as well, but I wonder how, what, what the vibe is going to be like having two less experienced players, especially in this team of, of quite literal legends in the form of Nico, Cold Zero, and Rain. So, yeah, that's, a, that's maybe a danger for FaZe. I think JW put it very well in his interview after that Fnatic Spirit game last night, where he said that uh, Olaf was actually one of the best teammates he'd ever played with in terms of just being, you know, n not necessarily always just being that fragger even though he certainly was for fanatic for some time but you know communication and helping his team teamwork and, and playing together all of that uh, apparently Olaf was incredible at it so you know that's something that now FaZe have lost and who knows if BMS can bring that into this team considering this is his first proper team so you know lots of questions for FaZe Climb and that's why we favor Spirit I think in this series so much we'll see all these questions get drawn uh, or, or get answered, I guess, in this series, or a lot of them at least. Spirit, another anti-eco. Phases Force found nothing in that previous round. We're gonna see Spirit look for a contact, but Phase not giving them all too much. May get a spot, but he also gets a tag and doesn't want to commit with that one. Chopper taking Ivy alongside Magix, and a well, one by one Spirit, they're gonna make their way into this A split. Rain at E-Box with this PT-50 is able to complicate matters a little bit out of the Ooh, gate. And actually, the kill presenting itself this uh -oh. time to Nico. It does all fall onto B-Mass. He's still in a 1v2. 
But there is a chance for him here on the, in this round. Can he finish the work that Nico and Raiden, so Curtis, you, so, oh my, I can't even talk today. Hugo, it's yeah. still too early in the Start morning. Day, Harry. Give it a well, few rounds, we'll warm into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, BMAS, he's courtesy got a warm, Nico. yeah, yeah, courtesy of uh, Hugo Byron on this one for bailing me out. <laughs> BMAS does get taken care of, so it's a good thing I kind of fluffed that entire sentence. Yeah. Team Spirit, 3-0 and up, and now we have this first buy ready to come through for the side of phase. Impeccable pistol work from Nico and the like. So him and Rain find three PC-50 kills in that round combined and just slaughter some of the spirit players considering they were armored and AK'd. That's impressive stuff. But it won't hold too much value. It won't hold with too much weight. It's just gonna you know, put phase on a rifle round here regardless. And Brokey, what? What? Fully flash, takes the timing shot, kills Rain. Oh no, that is not what you want if you're phase clan. The first drive round of this game, and your AD one of your AWPs just killed Rain in that A box site. <laughs> Head in the hands for Brokey here, man down our phase, and if there ever was a time to hit that B bomb site, this would be it. And they certainly look tempted, don't they? They're ready to go on in on the side of Team Spirit. BMAS is going to have a pretty tall task ahead of him now, and Brokey has arrived. Nice and quick on rotation with this AWP. He's trying to get into an angle where he can help his teammate, but nothing's available. Nice. And Brokey, well, he will put up a double. He's kept this in favor, or not in favor, but even odds with FaZe. And he's also dropped the bomb right in his prying eyes. So he's able to keep on looking at the package as been retrieved by the eye disbalance. He catches a bit of a timing while Brokey's repositioning. I'm now planted and Magic's having gone aggressive here. I just balance just got tagged by the AWP and so that's him put down low. We're looking for a bit of a hero in this round for Team Spirit. And 16 year old Magic's, well, he certainly looks like he could be the hero. Four kills in the round. And he puts up a fourth on the board for Team Spirit. You couldn't tell this guy was was inexperienced at the pro level of the tier one scene because he just looks so comfortable. The way that he approaches those oh. fights and even, I mean, look at that, Harry. Yeah. You can't really blame anyone there. Brokey gets flashed and no. takes his shot off of the flash timing, knowing a T could be peeking with it. But yeah, Rain walks right into the bullet. Certainly not Ra Rain's fault. I'm not blaming any victims here. But uh, yeah, I mean, Magix, he looks so good here for Spirit and finds a big round there with Faze's rifles out. Now the Deagle for Rain it almost feels better than a rifle at times. At least this time he's got to play the round, get out of the spawn at least and get a kill as Brokey does the same and AK gifted. And Spirit can't afford to throw bodies at the problem. They could be giving another weapon away. Idis Balance almost runs through that Molotov and gives them an AWP. That would have been the round falling apart for Spirit. They still have a chance here. They've just got to be worried about this one rifle picked up, Brokey. But one unarmored player playing with the AK, I'd love to see that gifted over. Cold Zero is hanging about. He is here. So maybe later for FaZe. Right now, they don't want to be caught switching weapons if Spirit peeked them off of a timing. SDY gets spotted in the pop dog by that cross and Brokey. Cold's going to be baited in and sh uh, shut down by Sundar Young. Now the Ivy split. Brokey's keeping an eye on it and there's a wrap through the spawn. Oh, I just balance going to get the better of him there with the AWP. Now, BMAS, once again, all alone. This is kind of the life of this B-side rotator, right? You're either getting attacked by all five at once or having to retake it a 1BX. So definitely not the easiest position for BMAS to be in. But I think it's like a good trial by fire at the same time, right? Like... Yeah. I think if you're if you're someone who is like a like you think about some of the really good B anchors on on a map like Train right I think of someone like Rops for example over the, over at the B bomb site and he's so good at it you can tell like he's very much had to craft this uh, yeah. this knowledge of how to best get get some usage out of that rotating B site anchor role and you know I'd love to see B mass become that man. Yeah, for sure. Like, you know, trial by fire, obviously never going to be easy in the short term, but it's all about building a player here for FaZe, right? They want to do what they did with Brokey, a turn a, a young, you know, a very, very capable individual when it comes to, like, fragging into, you know, a star player or, or, or someone that can, you know, compete on the world stages. And that is certainly viable. Brokey's looks really, really good as time has gone on for phase. And I can only imagine BMAS will be the same if he sticks around inside of this roster. So we'll have to wait and see right now. Phase. Down our man and down by five. Spirit 
I love this slow T side. They just work a pick and then they stop. They just chill. And a lot of the time that makes FaZe think that Spirit have gone B, but not in this round. FaZe have actually read this very well. Spirit have gone for a lot of B executes in man-up situations. They don't want to be predictable. And FaZe have read into this. They've stacked four on that A bomb site. They've left B open for the taking. Spirit are going to be heading into this bomb, uh, bomb site. B mass lining up a double. That's a good spray from him. The smoke lands in main and that cuts Spirit out of this position. They can't commit. Uh, they've just lost two men as well. That's a real problem. Back to B they go. This should almost seem all too obvious for FaZe Clan, but they're there late. Sundar Young has already crafted a path into the bomb site, and FaZe are watching the connection. Very scared of the potential of a pushed up uh, T. Yeah, keep your eye on Rain. He's looking to get a little bit cheeky here in the pop dog, and you can see that Chopper's waiting for it, and ooh, ooh. Chopper does just swing on down, takes Rain out of the round. Sundar Young, the man who has been an incumbent force at this B bomb site for a little bit, for a little while now. He's going to go aggressive and starts to push up close. Now, Magix was able to get a lot done from this position, but Sundar Young, not able to replicate that same success, leaves Chopper now in a 1v3. Two kills to his name already. He's going to have to ace this one if Team Spirit want to pick it up. And with Nico already defusing this bomb, Chopper's actually looking like he's going to peel off and save. Yeah, probably the right call here. It's not a money issue for Spirit. It's just a reality, right? Six health, one on three versus FaZe. In a position where you can't really defend that bomb, right? You don't have a Molotov. See, you don't have Usual I, to get you out. I almost do, like, you know, if Chopper maybe had all the info there in the sense that he knows they don't have kits, maybe that tempts him to hang around. Yeah, but yeah, it's but still he's a never going to know that. 5-0 right? uh, yeah, down yeah. with a four by round. FaZe, I mean, you know, they should have kits. So. And now they do, Hugo. Now they do. The upgrades are here, and the round is as well. FaZe finally break the curse and Spirit provide to them. It's going to be orbs back in the hands of Brokey and Cold Zero. I love how much we're seeing this switch over for FaZe. It's kind of exciting. You're maybe playing off a spawn, off a feeling, off a position. Good double nade into main puts Mia on one single point of health. Drop your ones in the chat because he is just a breath away from death. I just balance might gift death, but he unscopes as Nico goes for the peak. That is Counter Strike 101, ladies and gentlemen. Never look away, never take your eyes away from the prize because that's what's going to happen. Phase a man up, and now they can start to craft rounds together, you would hope. Mir's taking the AWP. Considering he's low, this makes a lot of sense. Rain is playing timing in the pop door, pushing in after the flash, but they're so ready for him. And two players dropped, they'll pop his head. Spirit. Back in a four on four. Again, another great time to hit that B bomb site if they want. And I think they do. B Mass is pushed up right now. He's not spotting though. And so Spirit, they could just execute down ramp and walk right past him in theory. They're going to look to try and fake outer. So I'm like, breaking the windows and Ivy Control getting taken by Magix, but this is all too clear. B Mass swinging early. Lines up a double. And that's all thanks to Mir being brought down to one HP earlier on by those nades in main. Magic's on his Ivy Ooh. Lurk, and he is going to deal damage onto Nico, leaving himself now at one point of health as well. Phase, they haven't rotated into B, and that's what Team Spirit were hoping for. That's how they'd anticipated this round to go down, and this leaves Magic's in a pretty undoable spot. One HP versus Brokey and Cold Zera. Seven seconds left. My goodness, he is going to nail the first man, but yeah, there's just not enough time, sadly. Great shot. Still, yeah, like, uh, incredible that you're able to stay alive yeah. there if you're Magix. Like, that's a shame. Obviously, that's a round where it's not in his hands, whether it's winnable or not. Obviously, like, you know, if he plays that as best as he physically can, he still can't win it as long as FaZe run away. As long as Brokey just leaves the bomb site, or whoever that was, rather, just, just run. And there you go. No time for the plant. Bomb is pop. FaZe have a man on the site. Even though Magix, uh, Magix kills him, it's still a second round for FaZe. And they'll take that. You know, it's not an easy one, but it is a round. And FaZe, they're not exactly full of them. Two to five and more orbs. This time only one for phase as the money gets drawn to a bit of a close for the short term. Double Ivy push. They're going for the old school boost. Cold Zero going above. He loves this trick. Magix, is he going to be ready for it? It's a bit of a classic cold move. But nothing getting seen. There's the spot and the kill. He falls off. Nico gets dropped though because he came back from that Ivy push and Chopper had already taken control out of uh, Olaf finding him. So Spirit down a man off the back of Rain, but a man inside of B could find the pick, could force the pain. B Mass has given away his position and that's going to let SDY just drop on him from above. Quick B pick for Spirit. They can grab the bomb and just exit this site if they want. Yeah, they're going to leave Mir here to uh, to come in late on this lurk and maybe cut down some of these players in rotation. I mean, alternatively, they don't have to commit to B because while Sundar Young is deep, he does actually get dropped. And so now you're looking towards Mir and you're wanting him to take some map control, secure a bit of a foothead. 
so that this uh, so that this bomb can come in on rotation and have a pretty clear path into the site. Now, he's chosen to push connector, clears out this area, but it's rain creeping up in Ivy that could cause problems. This bomb on the back of Chopper is slowly tiptoeing his way. Has to cross. Down through Olaf, but yeah, he's going to have to make this cross. He's trying to go over the top of the train. Oh, rain, no, the timing no, just couldn't no, be worse no. there. Couldn't be worse if he tried. Rain will quickly deal with the first, but it's still Mir, who was in a 1v3, now turned 1v2. He's trying to navigate this one. There is a wrap coming in from Cold Zera. Over towards Ivy. Mir repositioning to the back of the bomb train, and he's heard Brokey and Connector. It's cold that he's got to be ready for. On this Ivy flank, Brokey bested almost immediately. Amir's going to reposition into the connector. He's hidden himself away. Cold, running out of time, taps the bomb. Amir's going to start to creep on in. Cold is sticking it. Amir nice. beats him to the punchline. Three kills in the 1v3. He gets it done. Team Spirit, six on the board. And FaZe, they're left trailing behind. And to think if Rain just held that timing, right? He was obviously scared of Ivy, scared of the late play. But if, if he didn't look in that one particular second, he would have dropped the bomb of the cross. And, you know, it still could have been a round for Spirit for sure. But that would have been an entirely different round. And it wouldn't have been a post pump, which would have given FaZe so much more advantages in that situation. Spirit, man, this is a great T side as we expected on their map picking the series. 6-2 up, phase broke, finally be put, been put back down to Deagles. Although Spirit's money, it's not exactly out of the woods just yet either, right? They've been losing a lot of players and winning these one-on-ones, so it comes at a cost and they have to reinvest four rifles every round. And that means phase, even on this eco, if they win this eco, Spirit are broken. So worth keeping in mind. But that's why Spirit want to keep as many players as they can alive in this round. He's going to gamble. I like this call. It's a, it's a Deagle round. Why not? Put four inside that B bomb site. Spirit have been very quiet in this round. That bomb is going up all right now. It's not clear which site this is, but lots of smokes on A should tempt Spirit into this one. Base could even push the inner halls if they want more information and to bait Spirit in. But by this point, these T's are already out in the yard. No one's cleared out Cold Zera though, and he's still here. Now, Mir is like edging this way, and okay, yeah, miss shot from Cold. That's gonna allow Mir to flick back around and deal with him. And and now these Deagles are gonna struggle Ooh. to get much done, you would think. Rain with a nice little flick there onto Magics, but that's him drawing to a close. I like B Master's investment in this round, by the way. Little Zeus P250 Warrior. Let's see if he gets anything out of it. So right here, you know, you hear that scope in, and if you're BMAS, you're thinking, hmm, there's like $4,750 around this corner I can get my hands on. Yeah. So he pulls out his little Zeus, he pulls out the little taser, he's ready to put a lot of vaults down range, and... Well, sometimes young, the disrespect kills him, takes the Zeus, fires it off. And that's like a big, you know, I knew what you were trying to do. It's like you're playing, and I ain't going to let you do it. It's like you're playing the cheaters. Like, you're just holding. You haven't made any noise. You flank the entire way. And then you just get pre-fired by some Russian dude running around the corner. Like, okay. Or some Ukrainian dude, in this case. It's a great round for Spirit. They're going to lock it in. 7-2 on the T side. That eco for FaZe gets swept under the rug. And now another right, uh, buy round for FaZe with an AW. P on Brokey. B Mass moving back on B. He's got to have his wits about him. Spirit are about to execute onto the site. They're going for a quick one here and with no early pick as well. FaZe read it. They're going to rotate this orb over. Brokey's been very good in this rotation position. Can he put up a fight here and now? He's going to have to. And once again, he's got all mate Brokey available on rotation to come on in with this AWP. So they're both here to anchor down this B site and try and keep Team Spirit at bay. The flash is rain on in, so Brokey's repositioned to take this angle onto the cross. But one man's already gotten up close, and that could cause some problems here on in. Biomass falls within the bomb site, and now Brokey still not able to find this man who's wormed his way up close for Team Spirit. That will instead get mopped up by rain, and now Brokey looking up onto the rafters. A nice shot on a Sundai Young. And Chopper accidentally throwing his gun away, has retrieved it, but not to uh, not so much success. FaZe, they actually get this retake off. It's helped out massively by the double from Brokey. 
just slows down Team Spirit's progress into the site. It even meant that like dealing with BMAS was like a real challenge because the players that were meant to be coming in from upper to support that hit was so paranoid about the AWP. They dropped that close smoke, right? There's players trying to push up close and one of the two that are meant to reach that connector never even make it. So great stuff from Brokey on this AWP yeah. to keep that round in Phase's favor. It feels like he's, yeah, it's just getting better and better each game. I mean, you know, two kills on Rotate there. The round that he killed Rain and Spirit went inner, Brokey got two kills on the, the Rotate there and one Phase around. So, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely showing up with the AWP, the effect that we needed. The Phase certainly needs 7 3 down right now. Another pick potential for Brokey. He's going to miss the shot. Deep Olaf Molotov won't affect the player that's already out. That's Mia once again in this cheeky little position, waiting and waiting for his time to strike. Any information, any audio towards Sandwich or top of the trains can force Mia to go out, or he can wait for just the timing as his team execute upon Ivy. For example, we'll see if that's the case. Cold, he wants to know if that's the case as well. He's taking the orb down this position and he's got a nice flick onto Magix, getting him uh, out of the round nice and early. Mir doesn't want to react off the back of that. He knows Cold will have come back to this position with the orb, and that is the case. Rotating now towards Old Bomb. Nico's pushing the sandwich. This is the info Mir's waiting for. If Nico makes any noise, he might just be dead, but he is playing things so cautiously not giving away a kill, just tucking and playing timings on this train. Spirit, they want this A site, but they've really done nothing to, to hint that, apart from just having Mir sat here. He's been joined by the AWP, but he won't check the corner. Nico gets out and trades the gun quickly, going above the train and looking for Idis Balance, who was scoped in, couldn't see him above him, and now one by one. This is Spirit getting picked apart by FaZe. This is FaZe feeling in control, and it's not the round that Spirit wanted to muster in this T side, especially considering this is going to break their economy. Oh, yeah, quite a way to have it all fall apart for Team Spirit in that round there. But a great round from FaZe. They keep it flawless. And that's going to prove to be valuable looking to the future of kind of stumbling back to your feet in this half. And that's exactly what FaZe are hoping to do. But even so, man, even if FaZe go 8-7 up right now, like that's still a great T-side for Spirit. It's something they should be happy with. Uh, so, you know, not out of the woods yet are FaZe. <clears throat> Eco into that B site for Spirit. A double off for face could be a bit of a problem, but Nico, well, he's a bit of a solution here in the B halls. Three kills before that AK is gifted. And what can Spirit do with it? Now here, if you're Spirit, bleed the round as long as you can. Get as much value out of this AK-47 as you possibly can because that's all you've got here. Magic's looking for B picks, but he's walking into an AWP right now. It's going to be b -mass holding the site contact, spraying away. Locking that round. Five up on the CT side. Things are looking a lot better for FaZe. They're getting comfortable. They're warming up and they're making money while they do it. Yeah, something else that's a little bit scary is, you know, when we were, I think it was when we were seven rounds into this game, Magix had nine kills to his name, right? And so, yeah. like, you know, you were thinking, nice, okay, nine this is cool, but now it's been. Uh, five, six rounds since then, and he's managed one kill in that whole time period. This time he's the first to fall again. So it feels like uh, there's been a bit of a swing there for him individually, right? He's gone yeah. from being someone who was finding success constantly to now, you know, you, you, I mean, everyone get, has these feelings, right? We're having games, it just feels like you're wrecking everyone. And then suddenly it just turns on you and, and you can't get back into that same rhythm. Yeah. So it's going to be a real test to see if this young gun can get back into those high spirits. He's 0-4 in opening jewels, and I think a lot of that is what we just saw. Cole pushing Ivy with the AWP in back-to-back -back rounds and killing him first. Like, that really doesn't help. That doesn't give you any way back in. And that shows that FaZe have the answers to Team Spirit's game plan, which is, I think, the biggest like, the biggest question of this game is, like, can Nico provide the solutions? Can Yanko provide the solutions once Spirit start, start to get the ball rolling and give us a lot of T-rounds like they started this game with, going 5-0 up, going 7-2 up? Well, FaZe have had those solutions. Three in a row and a man advantage in this round with a read that this B play is coming through. Oh, BMS Molotov down. The flash is so good and he gets away with damage, but that's not going to be enough here. There's the shot from Brokey at least. These orbs have been so key at helping out at this B bomb site, but is it going to be enough? It's two on two. Mir and Chopper both very, very low. Ooh, look at Cold. Mir has bypassed these players on the offensive now and 
is in the back line. They are kind of accounting for it. Chopper's spotted one. Mir's going to mop it up. Wow. Oh, and he follows up with a second as well. Three in the round for Mir and an eighth on the board for Team Spirit. You look at that one there. There was less than 25 points of help on both of these uh, these two remaining players for Team Spirit combined. FaZe, they had two full health guys coming in on that retake. And that flank from Mir does absolutely everything. Yeah, that had to do everything as well, right? Because not only the player on the site was getting you know looked at by Cold Zero, who fires from above, but that bomb has planted default. If Mir doesn't immediately kill Cold on upper with the AWP, Cold drops on the site and sticks the bomb and wins the round. There's nothing Mir can do there if Cold sticks the bomb. So yeah, he would have lost it. And he had to get that immediate trade. So good work on Mir, man. Continuing, Harry, to impress and put up these performances that, that you know we wanted out of Mir for a while. In Gambit, it didn't feel like we had the Mir that we know we could have. The, the, the Mir that showed us what Vegas Squadron could do at the Majors. And right now in this team, Mir is looking like He's found his form again. Spirit, a fast B play once more. B mass overwhelmed on that bomb site. The orb might even just try and save here for FaZe. You can see the consideration. Rain and Brokey running away. And FaZe with only three alive. They want to give this round to Spirit. Give away nine as they try and keep their economy alive for the last round of the half. That's all they can afford to do here. So FaZe, every gun they get out of this round is massively important. And that's only going to tempt Spirit into chase more. Uh, yeah, Magix has got nothing to lose, right? Yeah. And everything to gain. That's how he's looking at this. Every kill he gets, Nets in that. Oh, dear, Magix. <laughs> yeah. He runs all that way. And as he uncovers the uh, the nest of phase, he decides to try and switch weapons. Because is there you know, even a weapon there? I didn't see one. No, I didn't either. But I assume there was one around. Yeah, right. like, you know, why gun? else would he just <laughs> drop the back 10? I know, know. I'm just assuming at this point, Magix is a far smarter guy than I am. Yeah, to be putting sure. up these numbers. That's a classic. Like, you're thinking they're saving IV because everyone saves IV every round. Every I mean, game. I can imagine, you know, like, BMAS was watching Cold nail uh, Magix just there and was like, yeah, that's why you don't. Uh, you know, I had to learn the hard way why you don't switch weapons mid combat <laughs> yesterday. He's never going to live that down. No, is he? I, now, honestly, that's like one of those ones that sticks with you, like a yeah. debut game. Especially uh, at, the, at the time it happened. Uh, like, was it 14 14 or 15 14? I think it was I think 15 it was... 14 down, right? Like, yeah, I think it, it was, was Vine or Overtime. In a three on three. Like, that's, I think, why, why it's going to be remembered. But <laughs> well, either way, let's see. move past it. Harry. Yeah, this A play coming through. And Mir's opened Woo! up. And Nico with his little UMP up on top of the trains is laying down the pain. Nico still dancing around. Finally bested by Magix. He was running low on ammo really have much going for him. The rotations have come in, but some die young has snuck through this smoke and this leaves it all onto Cold Zera in a one on three. This bomb is gonna go down for Team Spirit, Cold and Pop Dog. Gotta wait for this smoke to dissipate now. This isn't ideal, right? Oh. Cold hates this. He hates every waking moment of having to wait for this smoke to fade. It's delayed his progress of getting into this site. He doesn't really know where Team Spirit are either. They've had a lot of time to set these post plants up. Now he rains out the first shot. He's already anticipating that there's going to be a main peak. Wow, boy, oh boy. Team Spirit leading the way and doing it in style. 10-5 up right now at the end of the first half of play. Now they move into the CT side of trade phase. They've got their work cut out for them. They're brandishing two smokes, flashes, and a Molotov in this round. Both these smokes going to get thrown over towards this A bomb site, and the rest of the gang going to try and come through Pop Dog. Now, DMAS already dropped literally upon his entry into the site. My word, this pistol round is. It's already over, isn't it? It's all on rain. One on five, now 1v4. He does get one, but it's immediately dealt with. That was so quick. That was so clean. I I, I don't even know, man. I feel I feel bad for the observer. How do you even catch all those kills? How quick they come in? Spirit, man. And not only are the individuals just impeccable, but it seems like they have a setup for everything, a crossfire for everything. They're, they're always ready. And not just a great T side, but a great pistol as well on the second half to put them even further ahead. FaZe have to full eco here. They can't afford to dig a hole uh, in, in both economy and rounds here. A full eco. Giving away 12. There's the... Oh, that's perfect. Oh, it hits Culver right in the face. I love that. He's got a lineup, Harry, for the jump throw above window. There's a reason, man. Spirit have like 80% win rate on every map they play. And that's because they just have so many tricks up their sleeve, man. So many tricks. They may have run through the CIS region with absolutely no problem. 
but to do it against FaZe, to do it against Fnatic yesterday, where they did 2-0, and zero, like this is a whole new level of competition and Spirit are up for the task. I'm really glad that we're seeing Spirit deliver here. Especially after I spoke to you for an hour about them last yeah. night. You that would have been, been, been a real, uh, like would have been a real out, fall yeah. from grace for me, <laughs> wouldn't it? But over at this B site, B Mass doesn't fare too well, does he? That bomb actually gets dropped in a very opp uh, sorry, inopportune place for him. He would have to swing very, very wide to get it. And obviously that doesn't come through. So Team Spirit, 12 to 5. But now this reinvestment coming through for the FaZe boys. They've got AKs out across the board. We do have an AWP on Idis Balance on the other side of things. He's playing that glass cannon. So that's something to keep an eye on. Yeah, but is that really going to limit him at this point? 12 5 up. Spirit is going to be feeling pretty damn confident. FaZe going straight towards B. They want no funny business. They just want their best shot with a full smoke execute, but again, Spirit have read it well. I just balance on that rotate. As Brokey often did into the B bomb site, he will as well be here one step ahead. Rain fast and furious, fire and flames. He goes through him and gets a kill. I just balance, push towards the back. Can't see a thing from upper, and now FaZe is starting to get deep inside of the site. I just balance has to be very careful, and he will fall back towards CT to play retake. Safe decision, considering he's on the most valuable weapon in the game right now. BMAS pushed as well. Rain and him are swiveling on the site. Spirit are going to have a very hard round ahead of them and already the first man getting knocked down. Oh, there is a swing back in from Sundar Young. That's it. Um, yeah, Team Spirit aren't going to go for this one. And they get out of it with that AK instead. That's why Sundar Young goes for that peak, right? You want to try and get rid of Rain for a, for a multitude of reasons. One is that he's about to go peeking in through the connector, and he was going to try and hunt down these state saving players. And the other is that now he's upgraded that MP9 onto this rifle. And so suddenly this buy comes back in for Team Spirit in this round. You're even going to have armor behind the AWP provide this balance. And so you just get to have another an another run at this uh, at this full investment. Yeah, that's a good save for Spirit because yeah, with with a round lead, like when FaZe went for the same thing essentially near the end of the half, it's a very different context, right? It looks rough and it's like, damn, FaZe, they have to save there. But that's because they don't have rounds. Spirit have such a buffer to afford to play safe there. It's a better decision than throwing all your guns away in that B bomb site. Fast play out the Molotovs. Look at the damage these grenades have provided. Brokey has got a kill and they're all coming up for FaZe, but three players on 20 health right now. Spirit I don't know if they know how close, how attainable this round really is. If a player gives over a pick right now and they have that grenade dropping rain, that's going to bait Spirit back into an excellent round so far. Phase with a plant, but with Brokey and BMAS on 21 points of health combined, this is very, very doable for Spirit. Even the scout is versatile now. Cold on top of the train. He sees Magic's in the corner and drops him quickly. The AWP coming up from Ivy, but Chopper might just look to save. That's a quick kill from him. Now the low players for FaZe. The Spirit don't know they're the low players, and so they're not tempted in very fast. It's a slow stall. It's a wait, and it's a seventh round for FaZe Clan. There's no kits available on these two. There's nothing they can do. Now the only kit there was dropped in Tcon, or at least right in front of it. And if you're Team Spirit here, the, the last thing you want is for FaZe to start to believe that they can get back into this game, right? Like, you want to be crushing them here and now so that you can get a handle back on the money as fast as possible. And so that's why they're tempted to keep these forces up. However, like, you look at what's in this round, and I don't really love it, honestly. Like, it's it's a pretty risky purchase. They've got a double AWP, but it's the lack of utility that scares me the most. Utility is so important on this map. And... You've got three smokes and a flashbang. That is the extent of it. More specifically as well, like, it, it's the lack of Molotovs, right? Like, because Train is a map where if you allow the enemy to just swarm on in and push these sites, then you do get screwed. There's just no denying it. And these mollies are a great way to, to kind of whittle the opponent down or force some utility out from them or just make them reconsider. And you don't have that as an option now if you're Team Spirit. So you've just got to really react to whatever phase throw at you. Can they do that, though? This is where the double orbs could come in handy. And Magic's getting afforded that first kill is certainly going to help. It's onto Cold Zero, no less. And he's been pretty instrumental for phase 
They push up into the site. This bomb is going to be the last man in. They don't account for Chopper or Oil, but he's only able to find one. It's still the man advantage here for Team Spirit. Nico, keeping up with his aggressive face, gets into the front line. Has players all around him, but this is where oh. he might thrive. Brokey dropped. Nico gone. And this is the round for Team Spirit. Yeah, Mir walked all the way through Tcon into toilets through T spawn and phase. They had BMAS up above the pop dog. He looks, he checks toilet, Mir's tucked, and then he looks away and Mir peeks him. Like classic counter strike timing there. But the big play comes out from Magix with the AWP, right? He goes Ivy early, he comes back towards B off the back of that rotate and gets three kills. Very fast ones with the second orb as well. That, he's not even the main orb for the team, Harry, and he's locking him rounds for spirit. We're locking him rounds that they need as well. I just balance when we saw him back towards B, he just got abused by the utility and pushed back towards CT. So Magic's nice to see him get away with something there. Spirit have won more games of training in the last six months than FaZe have played. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing for Spirit as well. That I think, you know, pl plays into how well they've been doing is the fact that they've just been grinding. They've been playing everything, qualifiers, uh, you know, the road to Rio, DreamHack here online cups everything they haven't been stopping and you know with that many games played you know some teams might burn out but because spirit are on the up and up and like you said they're seeing the results in front of them they're seeing you know the progress it's only going to motivate you more to improve and keep working on what you're already doing right now look at phase's money it is a mess it is a scrambled buy with zero util other than brokey and he's on the awp as well so we want him scoped in 13 7 for spirit if they win this round phase are broke against 14 and the map likely follows Oh, nice. well, <laughs> Nico not feeling great about that one. And now I disbalance with his eye on offer. He can have uh, time of Whoa. his life right now. I disbalance Oops. accidentally falls off the top of oil, but hey. gets it the third time around. And he's dropped the bomb with these kills. It's fallen into the site as well to make matters worse for FaZe. Now, Fimas will deal with this orb. Whenever he's lost his teammate and BMAS left up, 1v3, what can he do? The nade finds even more damage onto him. Looking for this kill in upper. Now, some that young is like skirted on by. He got down through the ramp and is holding on to the bomb. And while all this has happened, he did make some noise. So BMAS is clearing it. Not ready for a second man up from pop. But a nice little flick round. All right, he does find that kill. Now a little bit more to do and tries to flick onto some that young. Does do the world the damage, but not enough to find the kill. 14 on the board for Team Spirit. No money for phase. Double orb saved forward for a much cheaper reinvestment here for the Team Spirit side. And this this could be how it all falls apart for yeah. FaZe Clan here on trade. At least a bomb plant would have been something there for FaZe, but they don't even get that. They barely get into the bomb site. Nico can't go in first because of the damage done by the grenade, and he just hangs around on the ramp and gets gets picked up. The, the bomb never makes its way because of that orb. And, well, Magix may have put up a big def uh, defense on B with that orb in the other round. Well, I just balance. He'll do his best as well. Three kills there. And this is the Nico from FaZe. This is them essentially giving away map point and playing for overtime with, you know, eight rounds behind by that point. What uh, what are the chances? What's the reality of that? Pretty low and even lower with Chopper doing things like this, pushed up with a shotgun above Pop Dog. He's cleared it out. He knows they have to be hitting A and now Spirit can have their wits about them. A triple IV setup that will peel away a little bit with that position being clear. And Faye's going to try and make up for lost ground above the B Halls. Chopper missing the timing. Very, very close though. And we'll just let FaZe get control here. But with this position, you can see he can take a shot. He can drop off. Pop's being covered. And really, there's no sanctuary. There's no safety here for FaZe. In fact, the safety's off for Spirit. They're not firing blanks. Oh, this gun is terrified. Oh, shot he doing the damage. They do actually get into the site, and there's a chance at a bomb plant yeah. here. That's sick Russia. for FaZe. If they get this down, that's a nice little cash injection. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Towards the end of this path. Luckily Ooh. enough, 
Mir has got I disbalanced his back, and he's not going to let that round fall too much further out of hand. I love that I disbalance rushes the bomb there, right? Like the money is everything in this case, and you don't want to let FaZe get in. So fair enough, rushing it down with a deagle and looking for that kill. But for a second, he gets flashed. He misses the shot. He almost gets dropped. If FaZe get an AWP there in the post part, they have a you know, very viable round ahead of them. But uh, luckily, the teammate comes in for Spirit, trades that kill, and cleans up the round, putting Spirit on 15-7. This is not a close game. This is not a close affair. This is domination on the map pick of Spirit. And Dust, who is up next? Phaser's pick, but a map that Spirit are not going to be worried about, especially not after this performance. Ooh. Man, Amir is like the, the, the king of fire. He has somehow navigated his way through this one. He's parted the flames and he lives in the little gray area in between. Now he does get out of main after getting spammed. That was kind of the giveaway that he was there. So he's not keen on... Oh, Ooh. right. Magic's gonna nail rain through the smoke. And that's quite a way to take him an advantage here for Team Spirit at map point. Some die young flash into pop. Now Nico does drop in immediately, trying to be the knight in shining armor as he gets that trade, trying to keep the dream alive for FaZe. He'll leave Pop Dog after taking control. He dropped himself as smoke out towards E-Box. And that's to give the illusion that he's still playing this pop position. However. Oh, Team Spirit, they didn't really believe. They tried to go aggressive, and while it has given up this three on three, they get the information that the bomb and Brokey were both in main. A missed shot from Magix, and the reposition deals with Brokey. Molotov forces him out into the open, but Magix is still taking fights, and he's still taking names. Nico, 1v3, shut down.